Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in science, astronomy, and telescopes. At least I hope one of them. Okay guys, I messed up again. And I believe this is the third time now in five years that I screwed up. It was just a week ago, but it depends on when the video comes out. The second time, which I just remembered was last year, and uh, another time was about five years ago. So let's get to this. Okay guys, what am I talking about? So it just happened to me a week ago, but again, depending when this video comes out, last year, I forgot my eyepieces again, and I did a video because I'm in a Bortle Zone 2 or Gray Zone, I might as well do something, so I did a video called Cell Phone at a Zone 2 or Dark Sky, something like that. I was just taking pictures of constellations, actually uh, with the cell phone, pictures of the double cluster, Andromeda Galaxy, you know, things like that, the Pleiades star cluster, the Hades, so you might as well do something, right? Um, and even the J cluster, I think I took a, uh, and that's a very easy one because it's huge. I call it the J cluster, but it's really the coat hanger cluster, but it does look like a J, which stands for Joe. Okay, so here is my case. It's fairly big case. I only have one. I forgot my eyepieces. And again, it's been third time in five years that's happened. Oh, where did, where did this eyepiece go? I got to look for this, uh, hope maybe it's in a telescope. I'll have to see. Anyway, so here's what I got in my case and what I'm going to do to solve it. So as you guys can see, this is similar to like a Pelican case. It's very sturdy. I believe it's uh, waterproof and it's a very nice case, but it's just made by someone else, but similar like a Pelican. Now, I really don't need it that big. Really, if it was maybe half or two thirds is more than enough. So in here, you know, I have the Mead 56 millimeter. I got a 38 millimeter and an inch and a quarter. Super, uh, this is the 4000 Super wide, uh, 24, 18. I, I got a Nagler here, uh, Mead 5000 Barlow. Uh, the ultra wides, uh, Mead 4000. 6.7 the 4.7 my big hunkin 30 millimeter eyepiece two cameras uh well cell phone camera adapters but here's what i'm thinking of course i got some um cheshire laser a teleview five times barlow two ride gels and filters and stuff like that a filter select wheel anyway i also have the mead 4000 series super plaza pretty much the whole set so what i'm thinking is i am going to be putting this maybe one camera adapter i do have a few filters like two inch filters and an inch and a quarter filters i might even put one of these because i have a third ride gel in that case and i'm going to leave this emergency because I really don't need, always use, sometimes when I'm doing a lower scopes or just testing uh, or something, you guys see me use the super palazzo, but they're pretty good. 52 degree field of view. I might even take the, the two inch up in the emergency case too. So this way, what I plan on doing, is this case here is gonna go up with me every time I go up north, but if I happen to forget, right, I will have this up north all the time. So if I do forget, I'll still carry this one back and forth because it has most of everything. But at least if I ever do forget it, I have the basic set here with a few filters, a two inch eyepiece, you know, whatever I need. And in that way, maybe one flashlight, I have uh, three in total, a red LED flashlight. So if I do that, if I ever forget my eyepieces again, so I think what happens is sometimes when I'm packing to go up north, you know, you're trying to pack your food, you're trying to 
uh, pack your clothing. You're trying to pack the telescope, which I left the 12 inch Dobson up there because I went two weekends in a row. And since we had that long weekend, I was up there the Monday. So I was really, on, I was going back up in like five days. So I left the telescope up there and a stool, but I carry the eyepiece case, the big one you saw home in case it was clear and I would do some viewing uh, or video. I still had my other scopes and, but then I forgot to bring this case up with me on the second time. So the only thing that kind of saved me on that last time is that it, it was one night ended up being somewhat clear. And what I mean by somewhat wasn't totally clear. It looked like there was very high altitude, very thin cloud. I could see the stars, but it was nowhere near perfect because it was a rainy weekend. So in that sense, I don't know if I would have seen anything too well anyway, but um, you know, it's the third time. And again, last year, I, uh, I forgot the eyepieces, or I think again, and I just did cell phone astronomy, which is better than nothing. And then again, about four or five years ago, when I went to a friend's cottage in a different Bordel 2 zone, I did forget the eyepieces and it ended up being an awesome night. And that's what happens, you know what I mean? So I think if I get two cases, that one stays up there permanently from like May, when our Canada's weather starts to become nice. So between May and the first week of November is when I normally go. It can stay up there. I'm still going to bring the big case with me because it has everything I need. But if I ever do forget it again, at least I can do something. And then that's it. Uh, you know, for fun's sake, have you guys ever happened uh, anything like that? Did you forget eyepieces? Maybe did you forget uh, you took a telescope and you forgot the tripod or the other way around, you forgot the telescope, you brought the tripod or maybe something important like a camera. Uh, tell me if you guys uh, have done some silly things like that and, um, you know, let, let's uh, hear some of your stories. So I think if I do this, it'll solve it. What did you guys do in your situation? Okay, guys, here's my case. So I have the Mead Super Palazzo there of the SV Boney 3 to 8 zoom a this is my third ride gel one two inch eyepiece a 56 millimeter Barlow I got the SMS camera a two two inch filters in case I want to use it with that one flashlight that should be everything that I need to get going okay okay guys that's it for this video like comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel the universe might be 15 billion years old but you don't need to wait that long to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, guys, I do have members video. And uh, once a month, I put a video only for the members. It does not go live. And it's only 99 cents. It helps the channel grow. Why don't you subscribe to the members if you haven't yet? Why not you? Why not me?